I'm Wayne Davis. I'm here with Captain Michael Christman from Baffin Bay. You know, truth be told, I was supposed to be in Brazil right now at the Amazon throwing big wood choppers for peacock bass. But my uh, travel buddy, Bobby Walker, uh, came down with the COVID and shut us down. So now we're going to make lemon aid out of lemons. And so we're going to be fishing the next couple of weeks. Uh, here on the here in the Port Mansfield, which is by far the best fishery that I know of, anyway. It doesn't have peacock bass, but it certainly has other good species that <laughs> yeah. have a good time. But nonetheless, you know, water temperatures drop down into the 40s. It's, it's, it's working its way back up now. We think the fish are going to move into the potholes. We don't know. We need to get out there and see. Water levels low, uh, low as it's been all year. Uh, Mike, what are you seeing up in Baffin? Uh, pretty much the same thing. These fish. Uh, Water level, depending on it, they've been hanging out in that deep water with these fronts coming in, and as we have this warming trend, they kind of push up towards sand flats just because that, that sun heats up that water nice and good. Finally, we don't have really much shrimp left in the bay, so these trout and redfish are starting to just fill up with mullet. So here within the next couple months, we should start seeing some size. And uh, hopefully we actually get some water to come up a little bit because it's pushing pretty low and we get a hard northern even a little lower yeah well the water is the lowest I've seen it this season um, which is which is okay down here for us because if, I, I really think I can set us up in an area where, where we'll be able to capitalize on that low water so we'll see what happens today but you know it's still it's still on the warming trend the fish might not quite be up on the flats yet but they're gonna be working their way there It'll be near it somewhere It'll be near it somewhere that's right so we're gonna give it a go wish us luck here in Port Mansfield fishing with Wayne Davis. Right now we stopped a little flat with the bowl. We had a bunch of bait flickering. I'm gonna try and work some top water slow while the wind's still calm as we wait for the water to heat up a little with the sun. But uh, we got a bar out here that we're gonna fish out wide. The side of the bowl start to cast towards it. See if we can't pick up some trout or some redfish. Yeah, so what we had was, you know, we pulled in here, there's a little bowl. We saw big wakes moving. Uh, water temperature is still pretty cold in the low 60s. Uh, Captain Cr uh, Chrisman had a nice blow up on his top water, working them real slow. I had a one big, big wake behind mine, thought about it twice, didn't, didn't commit. Um, bait's nervous, but the fish just aren't feeding yet. The water temperature hadn't started on that increase is what we're hoping to do. Um, waiting for that. As soon as that happens, I think it's gonna, the bite's going to trigger and we're going to get into some fish. But we're going to make a quick move and uh, reset and then come back through just off about 100 yards. Because fishing in the winter, anytime for that matter, you know, just moving 100 yards, 50 yards, two, 300 yards makes a big, big difference. Uh, when you're trying to dial in on these bigger fish. So hopefully it pays off for us. We finally, right when that water started rippling a little bit, the, we had an elevation change, but this time we went from deep to shallow, just based on our conditions here with the water. Sure enough, we saw those trout. This is a little one, but it's a good sign that they're laying in these potholes just like we saw them when we were running the boat, like I talked about earlier. Right when we got to that clearer water, they weren't in that cloudy water. Third cast with a plastic, boom, picked it up off the bottom of a pothole. So now we're starting to see this uh, pattern um, develop. Hopefully, water's dropping big time. The Floating grass is headed uh, towards the east. We're walking towards the west, and the wind's blowing out of the east, so you can tell that the tide's dropping. And these fish are going to start coming towards us because they were in super skinny water. If I can get this done here. But you can see he was a plump one. 
my boat's barely even moving. We got the wind blowing in this direction, tide's going that direction. So now we're set up right on this elevation change to see if we can get another one. If you throw your lure in a pothole like what we're doing today, the, fit, the water's still real, real cold, and you see those little mud boils, throw back in there. That's exactly what happened here. Now it could have been a trout in there with them and the trout spooked with the mud and then this red just hung around and wanted that bait when I threw it back in there the second time. This is the second mud bull that we saw fishing out here and we saw a bunch of really really nice trout so we figured we'd make a way through here and see. Without a doubt, this fish ate the lure, as you can see. And it's going to be a seven pounder or so. And I think I'll be able to get it out. Look how fat that fish is. Because the water temperature got so, so cold. But again, just a really fat redfish. That fish is full. Let this baby go. Nice flat, throwing this bone diamond wiggle low on a 16th ounce jig head. I was over here casting towards some sand pockets. But right before this, I caught a nine pound red looking for trout, and she just smacked it, started peeling drag. She's even got this hook all bent. Let's see. She's right at 12 pounds. about 31, 32. All right, let's see if we can't find a big trout. Oh, dude. I was looking at that pothole and I saw that dark shadow just come right up. the trout they were all getting hooked on the outside of the mouth now looks like they're starting to get a little hungrier not too bad Let's see if we can catch some more so what we've ended up doing the, we're outside of the minor feeding period and but the water is just now starting to warm up which is a good thing which means the fish are even eating even though we're off of a minor um, but it's that water level or the water temperature is rising and we're just catching big fish. You can tell that these fish, oh, that sucker's upset, are, um, look how fat these fish are. And it's because they've been eating since this cold snap. And the problem is we're fishing these potholes and there's a lot of reds in here mixed in with these trout. Reds are getting to it before the trout. We're even sight casting trout. If there's a pothole and a trout laying it by himself, he's eating. But when you make these long casts and covering these potholes, these dang redfish are getting it before the trout are, which is causing us a little bit of hiccup, you know, if you don't want to catch redfish. You know, we don't really mind, but my buddies over in Mississippi and Louisiana, like uh, Bo McCool and Glenn and Patrick, if you're watching this, you don't want no part of this. I'll catch plenty of them over there, so I'm sorry, buddy. But anyway, we're going to keep at it, and hopefully we'll get something good here in just a little bit.
know, Jimmy, I'm not a big corky guy, but I'm bound and determined to catch one on it. And good old Captain Chris, or Michael Chrisman, rather, uh, hooked me up today because I don't even own one. But I got this one here. I think it's called the Gringo. And uh, it certainly has worked on two nice trout today for sure. This fish is just as plump as it can be. Full of mullet. It took us nearly all day to figure this pattern out because the water temperature got so cold. And we'd see the fish, we'd set up on them, man, we'd get a couple. Redfish were kicking our butts today over these trout. Then we're making a one last run and we saw some really nice, good quality trout. Turned around, let things settle down for about 15 minutes or so. Then we got out and slowly started coming across these uh, potholes. And uh, we've picked up some really nice ones, such as this one right here. Not hitting it hard. They're just picking it up. But this uh, gringo right here, look at that. Huh. Pretty cool. Thanks to Captain Crispin hooking me up. I wanted to catch one on this. And I did. So, very cool. I'm trying to do is keep my line tight so that this fish won't swallow this bait any further. I think we're going to be okay. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. Whew. There was two big trout swimming together. And then this one hit it. Real nice South Texas trout right there. Finally kind of got them figured out today. It took forever though. Let this, let this girl go. Coming in with uh, Captain Michael Crispin. We went out for a long day. Um, a little recap. Left the harbor this morning. Water temperature was 58. We anticipated it warming up quite a bit on the flats. It took a lot longer than we anticipated, did it not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and water stayed pretty chilly even past lunch. Yeah, but it did end up getting up to 70. So we had 58 this morning. We, we touched 70 at 65 here in the harbor again. And we found the fish, we, we just had to bounce around 300 yards here, 500 yards here, 100 yards here. Got very frustrating. Actually, the red started eating, fish started flickering around, trout turned on. Yes, sir. As soon as we pushed up on that clear water, it was just like the flip switch. Usually them trout like that murky water to eat, but today they were in that warm, clear, shallow water. Yep, that's exactly right. And uh, we were working those potholes and those trout started as the day progressed and then it peaked out and then it kind of tapered there at the end we could they were getting under our top waters and they were just messing with us at that point <laughs> yeah, yeah and then those were the biggest ones that we found yeah. <laughs> but but so if you're out there fishing you know and, and you need to move at two three four five hundred yards and try to anticipate what those fish are going to do that's what we ended up having to do today and we had to work at it harder than we anticipated uh, but once that water warmed up we figured out the patterns of those fish we uh we got in on it so anyway that's how it worked out today and uh we'll give it another shot next time thanks a lot